Hello everyone, this is Stephen Elliott of Coherence.com and Coherent Breathing. In recent issues of Swan and Stone, I've been discussing resonance and the sinusoidal nature of the resonant valsalva wave phenomenon, as well as the sinusoidality of the heart rate variability cycle, which mimics the valsalva wave. What do I mean by sinusoidal nature and sinusoidality? This is what I want to make clear in this issue 9 of Swan and Stone. It's important to resonance and to training personal resonance protocol. The sine wave is the signature of nature in that natural phenomena vibrate in such a way so as to produce a sine wave. In issue 4 I made reference to the unit circle and how it relates to a sine wave. The vibration of a harp string is an excellent analogy. Right now we're watching a sine wave operating at 0.085 Hz, the nominal frequency of coherent breathing. What I want to make clear is that the sine wave accelerates and decelerates with every cycle, very much like the pendulum analogy also referenced in issue 4. Think of a swing on a playground. Each time the swing approaches its maximum height, it begins decelerating until it stops, reverses direction, and begins accelerating. Acceleration continues until the swing crosses vertical, at which time it begins decelerating. Referring to the swing analogy, looking at a sine wave on the oscilloscope, the x-axis represents vertical, right here. So we see the wave oscillating back and forth between its maxima and minima, each time accelerating until it crosses the x-axis, at which time it begins decelerating. If I change the time scale to one millisecond, which I've now done, we see the sine wave rising and falling, like a, a straight line rising and falling. This is a great analogy for coherent diaphragm movement. The physiology of the chest and what I refer to as the thoracic pump is arranged to vibrate in this manner. And that is the reason why coherent breathing produces a sinusoidal pattern in the Valsalva wave and the heart rate variability cycle to start with. So as we go about training personal resonance protocol, it's useful to understand this fully, in that the more sinusoidal the breathing pattern, the more resonant the outcome. So this line rising is analogous to exhalation, i.e. the diaphragm moving up, and the line falling is analogous to inhalation, the diaphragm moving down. So I'll stop talking for a moment and allow you to observe this and maybe synchronize your breathing with it so you can get a feel for what sinusoidal breathing feels like. 